Welcome to Pharmacy, an integral part of the research and clinical trials in the Trust. Today you will get an insight into the work which goes on behind the scenes, the role of pharmacy in trials and some of the duties of our pharmacy clinical trials team. Clinical trial medication has to be kept separately to all the standard medication normally stored and issued by pharmacy. It is stored in a secure area with restricted access for the clinical trials team. We carry out trials for doctors within the Trust and for pharmaceutical companies in many different specialist areas including oncology, paediatrics and maternity. We are constantly preparing new studies and monitoring the many varied trials that are ongoing in the Trust. Once we receive a delivery of clinical trial medication, we need to follow different procedures to acknowledge its safe receipt, check that we have received the entire shipment and that it hasn't been damaged in transit, transfer it to the correct place for it to be stored, which could be the fridge, freezer, specialist freezer or at room temperature. Most trial medicine deliveries come with special temperature monitoring probes so that we can check there have been no temperature excursions during transit. We also need to acknowledge receipt of the delivery, which could be by ringing an automated number or accessing a specific website. We receive trial medicines which are shipped, prepared and stored in very different ways. This includes drugs which need to be stored in liquid nitrogen at minus 150 degrees until they are dispensed, products which need to be prepared under sterile aseptic conditions and tablets and capsules which need to be counted, bottled and labelled. Products which need to be prepared in a sterile environment sometimes require reconstitution, dilution or addition to other products. If these are to be administered to patients intravenously or by similar routes, they must be prepared within an environment with little or no bacteria in it to reduce risk. These rooms have specialist air filter systems and the air is pressurised to limit potential contaminants. Sometimes the risk in these environments is to the operator due to the product they are handling, so they may need to take extra precautions such as handling the product inside an isolator where they do so through special protective gloves and behind safety screens. Trial medicines have to be closely managed and accounted for. Any remaining tablets at the end of a trial, which are either not taken or are left over, need to be returned by the patients or the nurses managing the studies. We have to count them and keep records of their numbers so that compliance rates can be worked out for all the trial participants. We then also have to return them to the company or destroy them in a way that has been agreed with the trial sponsor. Our clinical trials team work very methodically with a large part of their duties involving meticulous record keeping. The data collected must be accurate to ensure the outcomes of the trial are valid and credible. Once a trial we are dispensing drug for is ended here, it can be many years until it ends worldwide, depending on the design of the specific study. Sometimes we see the product becoming licensed and being used to treat patients as a routine therapy, which is really rewarding. Pharmacy are really involved in research. I, can't, I can say that we can't run the research department without them. We are a team. Although we work in separate departments, we've got the CRF here um, and pharmacy is you know, a few, about five minutes walk away from here at the moment. Um, we are still a whole team. We could not do the research, the drug trials without them. You know, they review all the protocols, they look at all the, the prescription charts, they advise on everything. They're always there for monitoring visits. Um, we just couldn't run the research without them. The specific team involved in clinical trials in pharmacy um, work tirelessly to ensure that patients receive a good experience while on a clinical trial. They work with the clinical teams, very closely with the clinical teams, to make sure that the patient journey is as quick and as seamless as possible. The team provide training and education to all our clinical team so that they're aware of how the, the service runs and that they, we're all working together as one big team. Thank you, Pharmacy Team.